Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Top Notes with Steven. I am Steven, your party host, your paragon of virtue, your Sherpa. Today we have one I am very excited for, uh, continuing our summer series. Thank you, Job, for your continued support, your lending of stuff that are not even in my collection yet. Today, we have one that I'm super excited for. And before I show it to you, um, my friend Brett, he says that when you get into the expensive colognes, presentation is everything. Comment down below if you think presentation is something that you care or matter for. To me, I, I don't argue the point, but I just ex friendly, friendly express my opinion saying that you're really not paying for presentation, you're really just paying for the juice. Everyone wants the juice because you don't wear the box. You never wear the box. You really don't pay for the box. Yes, the presentation is better when you get into the more expensive clones. But tell me your opinion down below. Let me know. Now, today we have our first Zhirzhov on the channel. Let me open this up. Exinto. Exinto. <laughs> Make sure I don't angle it right so I don't drop it or anything. This is rather expensive, so I do appreciate Joel letting me borrow it. Out of the container. There we go. What do you guys think? The little genie type bottle thing. I mean, it's it's heavy. It's it, the bottle by itself is very lofty. It comes in a almost like cloth like casket type thing. I mean, it's very lofty without even, I mean, I would imagine with even without the juice, it's very lofty. Hmm. I've never, never actually had a, never really had a Zhirzhov before. I've had very amounts of clones, but let's, and this one is Hyacinth, as Mrs. Bucket, uh, pineapple, iris, jasmine, pink pepper, musk, vetiver, amber, vanilla, and patchouli. I'm a very big patchouli guy. Anyone would know that. Very big patchouli guy. So let's give it a try, guys, because I'm very excited about this. Not going to waste many sprays on this because I want to savor and I want to... Enjoy it. Let's see how the atomizer is. Atomizer is super good. Oh my goodness. Mm. The pineapple is almost like creamy. Creamy vibes with the hyacinth. <sighs> wow. Wow, guys. <clears throat> I can't tell you how good this is. Pineapple on this one is very prominent from the beginning. The iris, the jasmine, the pink pepper, it's very evident. Definitely a 8.9. Um, it's one that you would need to get in your collection. Uh, it can be pricey if you let it. <sighs> Shout out to uh, Angel at Cubano's. Uh, I see a lot of uh, Zhirzhovs on his channel, and 
I've always wanted to get my hands on it and it is something to be desired, guys. Something that, wow, holy crap. It's almost intoxicating. I mean, I'm, I can. The hyacinth, the hyacinth and the iris are just so nice. Very blended, it's very blended well together. It's almost where that you want to seek out the notes individually and see how they are. I've tried to layer this with other uh, similar like fragrances and it never turned out as well as this. It's very nice. The patchouli is in the back just saying, hello, I'm here. Yeah, guys, this might be a short video. I'm not sure, but I'm on this ride just as much as you are because it's just something's like, wow. Like I'm very rarely taken back by how good a fragrance is. But this is just spectacular. Thank you, Job, for letting me uh, lend this out of your collection. I do appreciate it. The summer, summer collection, the summer vibe wouldn't be complete without something like this. All right, guys, I gotta stop. Otherwise, I'm gonna be here for another four minutes. Like and subscribe, hit that notification bell. Tell me what your scent is. Give me a boy a big old thumbs up. And as always, guys, I love you and stay blessed. Thank you.